Yes, it is time to revisit the tale of Dan Quayle from 30 years ago. Believe it or not, TikTokers, there once was a time in American culture in which you were subjected to significant ridicule from the late-night talk show hosts and the Vox Populi if you made a major mistake. 30 years ago, we actually had standards in literacy. We railed against stupidity. And until Trump came along, Vice President Dan Quayle was considered a significant laughingstock. Go to YouTube and you will find a video in which Dan Quayle, in his arrogance and stupidity, tries to teach a young kid how to spell potato. And he adds an E near the end. Now this was considered the nadir. It didn't get much lower than the second most powerful man in America making a basic mistake. Oh, and we went after the bastard. For months this guy was rightly shamed. But now, stupidity seems to have become an element in the periodic table. So we look the other way. Stay silent. I'm telling you folk, we must uphold these standards. If you are that fucking stupid, you must show no mercy in exposing your innocence to folly.